Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Man, this is a weird ass movie. And I don't mean like the concept of this movie. It's just like, I get what the concept is. But what I find funny about it is there were so many people at this theater last uh, tonight. And then I get out of the movie and I'm waiting for my ride. You know, I'm seeing all these. And the guy is at the ticket counter. He goes, how was the movie? You know, he's asking all these people, right, as they're leaving. They're like, it sucked. It's one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And I'm like sitting there like, what the shit is wrong with these people? Because like, not that they think the movie sucked or whatever. But it's also like, what the hell were you expecting? This is a shitty ass movie where Winnie the Pooh freaking murders people. What the shit did you expect? High art? Get out of here with that shit. I don't know. I mean, I watched this movie and I was actually surprised by it because there is a clever spin here to the source material. Like, basically, um, I'm, I'm just going to go into the plot of it, the basic premise of it, okay? So, I don't know if this was in the trailers. I didn't watch the trailers, but just good warning. Um, basically, Christopher Robin grows up, leaves his friend at the Hundred Acre Herds. They, they grow up and become savage. They kill Eeyore. And, like, and now they're, now they don't talk anymore. And they're no longer the friendly animals now. They're vicious and they hate humans. And they start going on killing spree. That's the concept of this movie. But what's a clever spit on it? Because, like, you know, in, like, normal way in the Pooh, we know that, um... Christopher Robin has to grow up and leave. So what happens when he leaves? Well, they become angry and vicious and mad. It's, just, it's a weird concept, but it kind of works a little bit. And so that's what's interesting about this movie. I didn't ha expect this movie to have some a reverence or kind of love for the source material, but clearly they, they did because you have these uh, couple points in the movie, like storybook drawings that look like stuff out of the books. Um, you got... You know, not just Winnie the Pooh in here. You got Rabbit, Owl, and Piglet, and they're in the movie. Um, and, you know, you get Christopher Robin as a large part of the movie. So it's, it's kind of like there was some love for the source material here, and I kind of like that. And, you know, and it is also a very gory movie. So, like, you know, when I first started watching this movie, the first kill that happened in the movie didn't really impress me. It kind of cut away from it a little bit. But then when you get in later into the movie and they start really going on killing spree, it was a really like messed up, gory ass shit. Like you were in the grit of it. It was nasty. It was dirty. It was grimy. It was like, oh, you know, and I didn't really expect that. And there was a lot of creative filmmaking here uh, because this was a very low budget movie. I think this had a lower budget than Terrifier 2. It could be wrong about that. But you didn't feel it watching that uh, for the most part. There were a couple points where you could just tell, like, they tell you that these are animals. They're clearly just dudes in masks, but they cut around it enough that you hardly ever tail. But when you can see the mask enough, it looks pretty fake-ass shit, you know? But for the most part, they do a good job at not showing the mask. Like, most of it's in shadows and in darkness, so you can barely even tell how cheap it looks. And there was some creative filmmaking on that front. I thought that was cool. And, uh, yeah, I, this was a fun horror movie that was weird and bizarre. But that's what's the fun of this, you know? I have to wonder, though, is Disney ever going to make another Winnie the Pooh project? Because they did the animated movie in 2011 that bombed. Because they stupidly put it out the same day as Harry Potter and the Deathly Howls Part 2. I don't know why they did that, but, yeah, they did that. Um, second... Um, second, the next thing that, that they did was that Christopher Robin movie, which didn't do well. Also, it didn't get released in China because China hates Winnie the Pooh. This one, the, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey is not getting released in China. So I'm sorry to tell you that, uh, Chinese people that watch my channel. Not that there are Chinese people who watch my channel. At least, I don't think there is. Uh, maybe I should check my analytics. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I was like, yeah, so... And then you, so it's weird to think about, like, they haven't made anything in a couple of years, and this movie comes out, it's like, is this going to taint the brand of Winnie the Pooh? I don't fucking know, but it's, this is great. This is a fun movie. You had a great time. 
watching it in the theater full of people. And, you know, I'm excited to see what they do with the sequel. I think this definitely will become a less fun trend, though, of turning these childhood cl classics into, like, murderers and creepy weird shit. Because, like, this is made with some irreverence for the source material, clearly. Um, and some, and there was some creative filmmaking in mind. But what you're going to have people like the, the team that made that last Jeepers Creepers movie who don't really give a shit about making great movies and they, and they're just going to be able to, uh, well, I maybe not give a shit about making great movies. I don't know about that, but like more just like, you know, people that aren't great at using lower budgets to make a film work, you know? And, it, you know, like, I don't think that Humpty Dumpty movie that they made is any good, but you know, it's ones if they if they, if they could all be on the level of this, I'd be okay with that. I'd be interested in some of them. Uh, yeah, I so I think if you know, not I think though it's a weird reviewing this movie because I think if you were interested in the movie, you would have already watched it by now, or at least you were planning to watch it already. So, you know, check it out. It's it's Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I don't fucking know.